Rugrats Tales from the Crib Snow White is a lot of fun. There's one thing in this that doesn't work very well for a UK audience and I will talk about that in a moment but generally I thought it was really delightful. This was released in 2005 and Taffy is reading the story of Snow White to the babies or the minis as she calls them and what was really interesting for me is that while I remembered Taffy as a character I didn't know she was voiced by Amanda Bynes. So that was a pretty awesome discovery for me. Something I did find interesting about this, bearing in mind I'm currently watching season three of Rugrats, which was probably more than a decade before this was released. Um, some of the voices sound ever so slightly different. I don't know why exactly I felt that, but just every now and then certain things just sounded a bit different. I don't know if I'm just overthinking it, but it's not really relevant to my enjoyment of this. As the story is being told, we see on screen the babies and some of the adults as well taking on the various popular characters of Snow White. We have Angelica as the evil queen, which makes a lot of sense, and Susie as the character of Snow White. It's interestingly not quite as dark as, for example, Disney's version of Snow White um, and indeed the classic version. It's even pointed out that, to quote, this is a family show. So Angelica sends Chucky's father into the woods, um, not necessarily to do away with Snow White, but certainly to hurt her. Um, and Snow White goes off to live with the dwarfs. And the dwarfs are dwarf babies. And there are seven of them, but it is a bit of a stretch because we have Phil and Lil, Tommy, Chucky, Kimmy, Dill and Spike. Spike is the seventh and this is where it gets a little bit awkward because they actually have different names and actually I thought this worked quite well I thought it was very creative except for one of them Tommy is Baldy, Dill is Drooly, Phil and Lil are Icky and Sticky which I loved, um, Spike is Furball, Chucky is Scaredy and Kimmy is Spazzy. Now I feel uncomfortable saying that because that's a derogatory term in the UK, particularly S-P-A-Z, but that may also be stretched out to spazzy as a slightly longer version. That's a really horrible, nasty name in the UK. That's a horrible thing to call somebody. So when it was actually said, and Angelica said the name to Kimmy, I thought, I, I, I've misheard that. I've not heard that correctly. I googled it. I did hear it correctly. So that's really awkward and I'm surprised the writers just were not aware of that or didn't think to realise how how these names would come across in different cultures. Um, it's also interesting to learn that, well, presumably it's not a derogatory term in America. So that's interesting to learn. Yeah, but that, that was awkward. But I feel like that's the only thing that doesn't work. And we have the babies looking after Snow White and Snow White... Um, well, obviously, as we know with the story of Snow White, she she goes to sleep. Um, it is very creative how it gets there. It doesn't. Tr it's not completely following the traditional story. For example, Angelica takes on the role of a mobile hair salon. Um, I won't say too much more about it. I don't want to spoil it. But the point is, there are certain things that definitely make it different to uh, other versions. And um, I thought it was very creative and worked very well. But there's a point where they think Snow White is dead. As we know, Snow White is just asleep. But for about three minutes, maybe less than that, they thought she was dead. And I I don't think Rugrats have, have ever really focused on dead humans before. I mean, they might have done. I still have quite a few episodes to watch or re-watch. But it was just pretty uh, surprising that they actually focused on death for a bit quite so prominently. Um, but the story flows generally in a traditional sense. It's very, very well animated and beautifully animated. So colourful, so creative, wonderful attention to detail. I think the editing is great. It occasionally cuts back to the Rugrats in the living room reading the story. Sometimes Taffy reads it, sometimes Angelica's telling the babies the story. And uh, I think it goes back and forth between the real world and the fantasy Snow White world very well. It uses adult characters uh, brilliantly. For example, Stu is a jester. He fits the role very well. There's also one point where Angelica has a ponytail on her head rather than pigtails. And she looks so much like Charlotte. She looks so much like her mother in that moment. I just thought it was pretty awesome. So I really enjoyed it. There are also mentions of other 
um, fairy stories and nursery rhymes, for example, you lost your mittens, you naughty kittens. Uh, which I thought was very cute. Definitely creative, a fun way of visiting the story of Snow White. Apart from Kimmy's dwarf name, everything I thought was really well done. Definitely worth watching if you're a fan of Rugrats and something I'd happily watch again. Really thoroughly enjoyed it.